Hi everyone, it's Miss Pratt again. So today we're going to do another how-to drawing. So I had a request, I think from Niles, who wanted to learn how to draw a lion. So here is the lion that I drew. All right. So he's pretty simple. He's kind of a cartoon lion. But we're going to work on drawing him today. All you need is a paper and probably a pencil just in case you mess up. All right. So I'm going to set my lion over here. And I am going to use my black marker so that you can see it. All right. And what we're going to do to start with is we're going to draw an upside down heart. So if you can't do that, you can flip your paper around and draw it like a regular heart. Okay. But it needs to be in the middle of your paper. And it needs to be pretty big. Don't take up the whole paper, but take up a good section of it, okay? So I'm going to draw my upside down heart. There's mine. All right. Now, if you had to draw yours, um, if you had to flip it the other way, I'm going to do a better job on mine because it's a little crooked. But if you had to flip your paper upside down to draw it, go ahead and flip it right side now. Alright, still not perfect, but better than it was. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do a heart right on top of here. Alright, and it's going to be smaller. Alright, so there's your second heart. And you may start to realize what it is in just a minute. Alright, I'm going to see if I can make this a little better. Just a little bit better. Okay. I've got my two hearts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a curve over here. And I'm going to add a tooth on each side. Now mine are going to be curved teeth because I'm going to make him a grandpa. He's not going to have real sharp teeth. So he's going to have curved teeth. I'm going to put some whiskers to come out here. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put kind of like a circle up here. All right, it doesn't go through the heart, it stops on each side. I'm going to give him two circles for eyes. And I'm going to color the bottom of them in so it looks like he's looking down. I'm going to give him two eyebrows. He needs two ears, so I'm doing kind of a oval shape with the curly cues in the middle. Now, here comes the trickier part. We have to make his body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the bottom of his jaw, I guess. And I'm going to do a circle, or more like a bump, and a bump here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the bottom. I'm going to even those up a little bit first. What I need is his two feet, all right? So I'm going to do a half circle, a half circle here. I'm going to connect them. And then I'm going to connect this to here. I'll go back over it so you can see it better. Same thing on this side. I'm going to connect them. I'm going to connect them in the middle. And then I'm going to add some lines so it looks like he's got some toes in there. Now he needs lines going up to make it look like they're his legs. Alright, so there's his lines to make it look like his front legs. And then now his back legs, what we're going to do is you're not going to be able to see all of his back legs. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a line out this way. And a line out this way. And it's going to make him look like he's crouched down, okay? Now what he needs is he needs a little line here that connects back. And that's going to be his back foot. So you can give him some lines here. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Connect back. And some lines so it looks like his toes. I'm going to make this one just a little bit skinnier because it's a little bit fatter. 
And then what I'm going to do is put a line, a line. That way it looks like he's got bent legs. And then for his mane, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do, it's kind of going to look like clouds around there. Okay. All the way up and around. Look at that big mane. So there is our cartoon lion. Give me just a second. Danielle Williams, can you please go to the library? Danielle Williams, can you please go to the library? Okay, so there's our lion, and all you have left to do right now is to color him in. Then after you've colored him in, you can decide if there's anything behind him. Is there more lions? Is there some hippos or some giraffes? Is there trees around? Is it grass? What's around him? Okay, so you spend some time decorating your lion and seeing what's around him. All right? Bye, guys and girls. I'll see you next time.